So Stokes, his new manager, is Gary Rowett. Um, it's going to cost us 1.8 million to um, prize him away from Derby. It's a very, very weird appointment. And when Lambert was sacked, no one, including myself, had Rowett on any shortlist, purely because he'd rejected us four months ago. But reading between the lines, the Derby chairman and board have come out and said there's no money to spend over the summer. They're looking to um, balance the books, so to speak, so maybe sell one or two of their better players. And that their squad is ageing. I think Rowett's looked at that and thought, this is a club that's not really going places in the immediate future anyway. It looks like they're aiming for a consolidation season. Stoke have come knocking again. We have, in comparison to Derby, got a bit of financial clout behind us. Obviously, we've got the parachute payments, the sale, the imminent sales of, you know, Jack Bolton and Shakiri will give us a little bit extra spend. And we're obviously targeting that instant return to the Premiership. And he sees Stoke as the vehicle to take him there. So what kind of manager have we got? I mean, it's, it's quite difficult to say, really. So far, he's had three jobs in his managerial career. He took over Burton in March 2012 and led them to two successive playoff campaigns, losing in the semi-final in one and losing in the final in the other. Then he moved on to Birmingham City in October 2014 with Burton near the top of the League Two table. When he took over Birmingham, they were 21st in the Championship and he managed to guide them to 10th. Which I think, if you look at Birmingham's recent history, I think it's a very, very credible finish for a club that generally is finishing down the bottom of the championship. Um, going into the 2016-17 season, he led Birmingham to seventh in the, in the league table. But for some bizarre, bizarre reason, the Birmingham board decided he wasn't the man to lead them any further and sacked him. And then that finally led for Derby to come in for him. And I think most Stoke fans will have a rough idea of how he got on at Derby last year. With an ageing squad, he managed to guide them to second in the table around January time. And this, of course, was roughly when Stoke came knocking. Rowett at the time assumed that he was going to get the job done at Derby and get them to the Premiership. So he rejected us. And then most Stoke fans and Derby fans probably thought that was the end of the matter. Rowett would not be coming to Stoke manager anytime soon. Fast forward four months and here we are in the very unusual position that he is now our manager. I've been speaking to a few friends of mine, Derby fans, um, fans of championship clubs to ask what sort of style we're looking to get. Derby fans, unsurprisingly, are a little bit scathing of his style at the moment. Maybe that's because they're a little bit bitter about him leaving the club, I'm not too sure. The majority of them saying that he was quite long ball and um, quite digging in for the 1-0 victory toward the end of his uh, time at Derby. And um, I also spoke to a, a Brentford fan who stated that Derby were by far the most offensive team that he saw down at Griffin Park. A team that really dug in and when they got that 1-0 lead, they weren't letting go of it. They weren't exactly busting and got to get the second or even third. It was a case of we've got what we hold and we stick to it. Sounds a little bit familiar to Pulis back in the day. But at the same time, I'm kind of sick of this football snobbery. If we need to play in good football, for me, we need to get out of this division. And if that means we play in a long ball style or a more direct style, if it wins, it's effective in my mind and I'm not too fussed. The only slight doubt I've got over Rowett, as I've already mentioned, is that the fact he kind of did leave Derby in these circumstances, bizarrely after signing a three and a half year contract, does make me question his loyalty slightly. And I, I can't help but worry that if a bigger club comes um, forward in the future with a bit more financial backing, is he going to do the same to us? But time will tell. Hopefully we will be the club that he takes forward into the Premiership and he won't be tempted by other offers going forward. Generally, I'm quite happy. His managerial record so far has been good. He's an ambitious manager. He's young, he's fresh, he's different. And I'm just pleased we've got the job done so quickly. My biggest worry was that we'd mess about, similar to the Lambert position, and be two, three weeks or even months down the line without a manager. As Ryan Shawcross stated, we needed to get someone in ASAP and get the squad settled and ready for pre-season. And we've certainly taken the first step towards that in appointing Gary Rowett. So well done, Stoke City.